Hello everybody. So this is the model um, from class. And so what I want to do on this video is show you guys how to actually import furniture into your model. So I want to go over two different ways that you can do that. You can either do it by uploading preloaded blocks that are all, that's already a part of the um, Revit database, or you can go off site to RevitCity.com to actually import furniture into your model. And so the first way I want to show you guys how to do that is actually just using what Revit already has available in the actual program. Okay, so we're actually going to start off um, by going to your architecture tab. From there, you want to scroll over to your component tab. And then from there, you actually want to click down on those options that you have. And in this case, we actually want to go to place a component. So once we go to place a component, if we look at our ribbon, we can see that that has changed. We also see that Revit has changed what's in our property bar. So if we click on the options that we have, these are already ready to go and preloaded into your model. Okay. And so if you want to use a desk, you can just click on that desk option or what's whatever is already preloaded in there and just take it to your model and place it. And Revit will place it on whatever level you're um, currently in. OK, so to actually end that tool, because as you guys can see, I've placed that desk, but that furniture piece is still on my cursor. And so as you guys are placing furniture, one thing that you have to notice is that Revit will need you to actually exit out of that tool to be able to um, stop placing that particular furniture piece. And so you can do that by either pressing escape or you can go to modify. And that will allow you to exit out of that particular furniture tool. OK, so to get back to where we were, we're going to go to our, our architecture tab, go back to component, go ahead and click down on our options and go back to place a component. OK, once I'm in there, I have another option. If I don't see anything that I want to use that's already preloaded into my model, I can also go to load family and that will bring up other options that Revit has that's similar to um, the AutoCAD Design Center. So I'm going to go ahead and click on load family. And that's going to bring up a list of folders. And if I scroll down to furniture and double click on that, that's going to bring me to a, a couple other folders and also um, some other files outside of those folders that are furniture pieces. So if you guys want to just kind of explore and see what Revit has available, um, that's not off site. This is where you will go to do that. So if you click on one of those files, you can see in your preview area here kind of what that furniture piece will look like once placed in your model. So in this case, I'm going to go to my seating folder and look through just to see what Revit has available. OK. So. There's a couple options. Um, there's not a lot, but if you're just looking to do something basic, you may be able to find it in this actual area here. OK, so in this case, I'm going to go ahead and download this third ch chair here. So I'm just going to select it. Once I have it selected, I'm going to go to open. And once I hit open, it's going to work the same way as when we loaded our disk. So that furniture piece will be loaded onto your cursor. So you can just place that wherever it is you want to place it in your model. Again, that furniture piece will continue to be attached to your cursor until you press escape or go and press modify. Okay. 
Now, if you want to make changes to the material of this furniture, you just simply click on that piece. It's go over to your properties bar and we're going to go to the same the same option that we go to when we're messing with our windows, our doors, our floors, our ceilings. We're just going to go to edit type, okay? One thing to remember before you start to mess with anything in this area here, you always want to duplicate the furniture piece or whatever object you're um, editing. Okay, so I'm just going to go to duplicate. I'm just going to leave it at chair two. That's fine for this example and press OK. And from here, I have the option to change what that material is so depending on the furniture piece that you download these options may change in this case i have the option to change my cushion cushion material excuse me and also my frame material so if i want to change that cushion material i simply click in the box um, that has that material listed and again i'm going to see those three dots appear i'm going to go ahead and click on those three dots and from here, it works the same way um, with any other material that we're uploading. So we can choose the material. Once you have that material selected, you can press OK. And that material should show up um, underneath that specified area. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and press OK. Another thing that you have the option to do is completely change what this furniture piece looks like okay and the way that you guys would do that is that once you click on an object your ribbon's going to change and if you go to edit family that's going to actually take you to a isolated area where it just shows that furniture piece by itself and so from here um we haven't gotten much into this um, you can change the di um, dimensions of this. You can take a bar away. You can make all types of changes to this furniture piece from here. Okay. And so um, to kind of just navigate around, you would do the same way you do if you're in your model. So you want to just click on your views go to floor plan and go to reference level and so from here you can click and start to change what those dimensions are to this chair okay for the purpose of what we're doing in this class now i would go ahead and say to just leave your furniture pieces as is um and change the materials as need be but go ahead and just stay kind of out of this area for now um, until we're able to dive more deeply into um, actually dealing and messing around in this actual um, plane okay so once you've made changes to that furniture piece you can go ahead and click on load into project and that's going to take you back to your model so i'm going to click load into project and it's actually going to depending on what you have open it's going to ask me what project i want to load this furniture piece back into and so Mine is named Activity Home 14. So I'm just going to make sure that that's selected and go ahead and press OK. And that's going to take me back to my model. OK. The other option that you guys have to bring in furniture is through um, a website called RevitCity.com. So when you go to RevitCity.com, you're going to have to actually register to use and download their products. And so you just want to go to your join portion here and just fill out this information and press join and that should get you up and going. Okay, so I already have my login, so I'm just going to log in really quick. And sometimes that login bar goes away, but just go ahead and click on it again and that should bring up bring up that option for you. Okay. So 
I'm actually logged in. It says, Welcome, Ebony J. So from here, what you want to do is go to search. And you can type in anything that you're looking for. So if I was looking for a sofa, a chair, a table, um, a bar, you basically have so many options in Revit City. Anything that you're thinking about adding to your model, Revit City probably nine times out of ten has a lot of different options for you to choose from. So I'm just going to select sofa. And I'm going to hit search. And that's going to bring up all of the um, models of sofas that Revit City has for me to download. Okay. One thing I want you guys to pay attention to um, when you're downloading models is just look to just see what that product version is and um what year that model was actually created so in this case this three seater sofa was created using revit 2014 so this is important if you are um working in a later version um sometimes if you download try to download a model that's um a year I think younger or a year older depending on the model it may not allow you to do it so you can download up into the um, year that you're actually working in so you guys should be pretty good with downloading up to 2015 but if you were to see a model that was 2016 that you wanted to use Revit may not be able to um, uh, download that into the version of Revit that you guys are using. So, I mean, if there's so many options that I'm sure you'll find what you want in the um, in the version that you need. So, in this case, I'm just going to scroll a little bit just to show all of the options that I have. Um, in this case, on my actual laptop that I'm recording this from, I only have Revit 2014 downloaded on it. So I wouldn't be able to download this model because this is a year older. I mean, a year, yeah, a year older than the version that I'm using. Okay. So that's what I mean by sometimes you're not able to download a, a actual furniture piece depending on um, the version that you're using. So there are so many different options that you can choose from. It goes on and on. So I just um, suggest that you guys go in here, kind of play around with it, kind of see um, what options you have, and just kind of play with downloading different things and kind of see what it comes in as. So in this case, I'm just going to select a random chair. So let's actually do this three seater sofa here so to get a better preview of what this looks like you can just click on the name of that object and that's going to bring you up to a, a more larger version of what that looks will look like in your actual model so I'm looking at it it looks pretty good to me so I'm gonna go ahead and download now and so you should see that file downloading from um, your web page and so once that's done downloading downloading you just want to click on that actual um, tab and it should op automatically open up to that furniture piece in Revit now one thing I want you to notice is that it's not going to load it directly into your project when you first download it it's actually going to take us to that isolated furniture view um, that we went to previously okay so to get this actual piece into your model you're just going to go to load into project okay so I'm going to click that again. Revit's going to ask me, depending on what you have open, which project I want to load this into. In this case, I want to load it into my Activity Home 14. So that's selected, and I'm going to go ahead and press OK. Okay, and it comes in the same way. So it's on my cursor now. I see it in my um, properties option. So that means that it's been loaded into my project and I can always go back to using it. So I'm just going to place 
this down again and I'm going to press modify to get out of that yes I want to save and so now this is placed in my model again you can always go back to your architecture tab go to component click down on your options go to place a component and everything that we've loaded into our project from even the preloaded blocks that Revit has should be placed in these options that you have here okay so we're good so you can always go back and um, load and furniture piece into into this actual model after you escape out of it okay so I'm gonna go to modify and just to see what this looks like in a perspective view I'm going to go to my view tab so I'm gonna go over to view click on view go to my 3d view option click on the options button go to camera select my camera and I'm just gonna click one time to anchor my camera and I'm actually gonna come all the way out zoom out and pull that camera um, pretty far out from my model okay and I'm gonna click a second time and from here I can use my um, blue dots here to expand that actual viewport out okay and so now I have a furniture piece that I've downloaded from Revit City and this actually works the same way if I want to um, edit the material that's on a piece that I brought in from Revit City so if I click on it I just go to edit type again remember before you start to mess with anything here you want to duplicate press OK and this will work the same way I have the option to change my sofa stand material my sofa material and the the color of my cushion and the material on my cushions as well so you just click in that box you click on those three dots that appear and from here you can change that material to whatever it is that you like okay and I'm gonna go ahead and press OK and OK to get back to my model and that is how you load furniture into your actual model okay and so from here um, I'm actually going to be placing on eCompanion a um, template of furniture pieces that um, I've loaded from AutoCAD and so you guys will have the option to add any furniture you want to um, your spaces but that just kind of shows what those designated areas are so um, you're able to better suit the furniture pieces that you select okay and remember always email if you have questions thank you